<laughs> hey, what's going on, you two? Just gotta get past this backyard. It's Marcus Levy, the Angry Rancher here for the 23rd vlog here in the Tarv vlog series. Huh? Oh, shit. So I was wondering where this went. Turns out it's there. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> well, because I was like, what's that cancer daisy doing down on the ground? And then I'm like, I'm wearing the same hat I wore last night when I came home. And I guess, well, it's on the ground there now. Whoops. <laughs> guess it fell off. <laughs> well, I got to take them off now because we're out of the month of May. Or April, sorry. So I remember that now. <clears throat> so today, since yesterday was payday, as it is on every second Thursday, the first thing I always like to do on... <laughs> either day of, but since I had plans yesterday, um, as you were no doubt aware from yesterday's episode, um, today <laughs> is errand day, basically, I mean, I work tonight at midnight, but I'm going to run some errands during the day, do some chores, and then have a nap before I leave for work, because it's a 12-hour shift that I got from midnight to noon tonight. And then another 12 after that. So go home, rest for 12 hours, and go back and do another one. <clears throat> just two. Just two in a row. But still putting in 24 hours in a weekend. It's essentially doing three eight-hour shifts over the course of two. So pretty nice. <clears throat> but <laughs> first thing that I always like to do is go and treat myself. <laughs> Despite the fact that, yes, it's NGFS phase two. <laughs> And this is the second, this is the, uh, the third day of it. <clears throat> I'm going to treat myself <laughs> to uh, one of my usual restaurants. Uh, so I, li I wanted to talk in today's vlog about just the general type of restaurant food that I like. So I am more of a preference to dinery type foods, right? Because diner food for me is cheap and simple. <laughs> And honestly, you can't go wrong with uh, breakfast any time of the day. <clears throat> I've always said, my parents have always said as well, <laughs> breakfast is good at any time of the day. Are you going to tell me there's a time of the day I can't have bacon, eggs, and toast kind of thing? Nope. <clears throat> Are you going to tell me there's a time when I can't whip out a bowl of cereal? No. Oatmeal? No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> when you're a kid, <laughs> you get into this idea that food has to be structured at certain times of the day. But as you get older, you're like, no. <laughs> if I want to have bacon, eggs, and toast at 3 in the morning, whatever's open shall deliver. <laughs> and I've done this, too. <laughs> I have <laughs> popped on to skip the dishes or Uber Eats or whatnot and <laughs> just ordered, uh, like, Elgin Street Diner or whatever, to work. <laughs> when I'm at work at 3 a.m., I'm like, you know what, could use some bacon, eggs, and toast at this current juncture. <laughs> Punch in an order, wait for it to show up, greet it at the door, bada boom, bada bam. <clears throat> also, with the way our technology is now, too, with certain conveniences, right? <laughs> like the ability to just simply use my iPhone to pay for stuff so that I can pay for stuff using the card registered to the phone so I don't have to worry about bringing the card to the door despite the fact it's always on me <laughs> but back to my thing I wanted to talk about <laughs> so another reason that I really like diner food just for me is because one is because like when you go into a diner my first expectation is not is it gonna be upscale is it gonna be fancy <laughs> No, my first thing is, is it just going to be clean? <laughs> Does it just look like somebody took five seconds to mop the floor and wipe the tables? And when I go into the bathroom, does it look like a place I want to take a dump? You know what I mean? <laughs> and you lower your expectations for a diner. <laughs> I, if I walked in to a slightly more upscale place, my expectations would be a little bit higher. The more you charge me, the more that I'm probably going to expect you to deliver me. 
in my experience. But since, <coughs> realistically speaking, <laughs> diners are generally low-grade, <laughs> sometimes dingy-looking places, <laughs> you lower your expectations. But this place that I go, Rock and Johnny's, <laughs> uh, every <laughs> two weeks, they have two locations. Uh, the place that I go every two weeks just to kind of treat myself to a little something something after after payday just just one just one meal uh, roughly 20 bucks 25 bucks that, that's because I also tip right I have a I have a minimum tip which is uh, five dollars uh, you know if the 15 percent of the bill is probably going to come to less than 25 less than sorry less than five dollars then I'm probably just gonna slap a fiver on there <clears throat> as a minimum it's the same thing I tip the haircut person or the the yeah the the person does my hair whichever one of them it is <laughs> but when I go to this place I often get the same thing and the best thing is it's consistent quality I guess that's the other thing <laughs> if I walk in uh, and it's really good the first time, really shoddy the second time, I will give it a third try, and that third try kind of evens out whether or not I'm going back. <laughs> For example, <laughs> I've now been, I think, twice or three times now <laughs> to, <laughs> we have one of those <laughs> uh, basically standalone KFC Taco Bells, <laughs> and was atrocious. <laughs> I went in there, uh, there was no napkins, barely any cutlery for me to eat my poutine with. You know, uh, I went into the bathroom, no toilet paper, no paper towel. They didn't even do the lazy thing of just putting the toilet paper roll on top of the toilet paper dispenser. So I was like, I can't. I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, it's like, it's kind of just like, no, nah, I'm going to go somewhere else you've lost me but then they committed the number one worst canadian sin ever the poutine gravy was cold f <laughs> i pressed f to pay respects to my poutine <laughs> didn't melt the cheese and the only reason the gravy was warm down at the bottom was because the fries were warm. And if it's the fries heating your gravy, not the gravy heating your fries, you've lost me. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's like two Canadian sins. There's like, okay, there's three, basically three sins I think you can commit in this country. Uh, the first one is to serve me cold poutine gravy that doesn't melt the cheese curds. <laughs> second, <laughs> second, is to tell me that you don't like hockey. <laughs> you live in this country and you don't like hockey. That one we can live with, but you're on thin ice. Uh, and the last one is to tell me that you hate maple syrup. <laughs> there are only two people, there are only two types of people, I think, who are allowed to actively say they hate maple syrup, and that's if you're allergic to it, because then we're like F, or if you're diabetic, because maple syrup is tree sugar, essentially. <laughs> but I know a lot of diabetics who still like, you know, maple syrup. See, I like maple syrup, I'm just not a fan of table syrup, which is like that American stuff. America. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Comment below, what is your favorite type of restaurant? Or, which restaurant is your favorite? I would love to know, because I do read all the comments that I get, all, all two of them. <laughs> do uh, tap that like button and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss one of these vlogs that come at you daily. Uh, I did have a bit of a schedule uh, issue uh, which is why I had to post two of them uh, up early, early this morning. But you're getting this one day of. So check me out on Instagram at the Angry Rancher 2019. I'll post some of my Rock and Johnny's experience in order to kind of promote today's new vlog. And check me out on Twitter, Levy underscore Marcus. All right, guys. Oh yeah, and 
of course. <laughs> Share and check out the Angry Rancher show on Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes. <laughs> There'll be a new episode coming at you on Tuesday where I'm going to talk about Fairweather Friends. <laughs> I think it's about time that that topic gets discussed. All right, guys. Till tomorrow. Peace out.